Hello, I'm Claire Smith and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the fragrances that I reach for when I'm going to bed. So I remember when I first started watching YouTube and it hadn't really occurred to me that I could wear a fragrance to bed. I know that sounds a bit odd, but it really hadn't. And so I tried it and actually now it's become really part of my bedtime routine. I rarely go to bed without wearing fragrance. I just think wearing fragrance to bed is really relaxing, really comforting and potentially very nice for anybody who's with you. I tend to find the fragrances that I reach for for bed are of particular note profiles and they sort of fall into three different categories really. The, the fresher, cleaner ones, the more comforting, fluffy ones and the sweeter ones. So I'd say there's lots of musk, there's lots of vanilla and there's also a little bit of aromatic lavender going on in these fragrance choices. In general, for fragrances you go to bed, they don't have to be long lasting and that actually makes the choice range much wider because perhaps fragrances that you wouldn't want to wear in the daytime because you'd have to carry them around to refresh them all the time, they become a possibility when you're going to bed because you're not going to be smelling them for very long. You're just going to be smelling them for maybe the half an hour it takes you to drop off. But actually also those fragrances want to be soft. They want to be something that you aren't going to knock out room. You want something that's not going to be jarring. You want something that's going to be quite relaxing. And that means a skin scent also becomes more of a possibility when you're going to bed. So of course, as well, sometimes when you're going to bed, you're not going to sleep, are you? But I think that's really going to be an entire another video. So I'm not going to touch on that in this one. But if you do like this kind of content, then please do consider subscribing. And also please like this video if you do end up liking this video. So let's get with my choices. So the first fragrance is actually one of my most recent pickups and I remember thinking over Christmas this would make an excellent bedtime fragrance. So this one is Drugie from the Le Nocte Gourmand line from Reminiscence. So I'd say this one is probably the gentlest of the Reminiscence line and also the most simple and the most linear but definitely not the least beautiful. I think this one is just really ethereal and it always makes me think of angels. It just has this sort of um, almost transparent, light, airy quality to it. So dragé in French actually means something that's sugared. So you have sugared pills or you have sugared almonds and that's really what this fragrance is. It's a powdery sugared almond fragrance with a bit of an ethereal orange blossom feel and a beautiful soft vanilla. So this is something that really does have a slight gourmand touch to it. It is a gourmand fragrance but it's a very light gourmand fragrance. It's not something that's sickly or something that's heavy. It's something that's very, very light and powdery. And I just think it would be perfect for bed. So that's Drugie by Reminiscence. So the second fragrance is one that I've seen loads of people say that they wear to bed. It just has that certain vibe about it. It just is very suitable for bedtime. And this one is SJP's Lovely. So this one just makes me think of really good night's sleep. It's got that sort of feeling of when you run your hand along a a really plush duvet, a really nice feather filled, cool down kind of duvet. And it makes me think of clean linens. It's got a really clean, fresh feel to it. But it also makes me think of just minimalist rooms as well, really restful hotel rooms. And I think the thing that really gives me that feeling of this is gonna give me a good night's sleep is really the lavender in this fragrance. So this has a really nice soft lavender note in it. It's not really a harsh aromatic or herbal lavender at all. Just something really soft and powdery and clean. And actually this is generally a woody musk fragrance in the dry down. And really if you spray this on at night you'll be left with this beautiful lavendery woody musk in the morning. And this is a fragrance that actually my husband does sometimes comment on. He has said many times actually when he wakes up next to me that I smell nice when I'm wearing this one. And really my husband is not someone who notices fragrances or is interested in fragrance in the slightest. So for him to comment on a fragrance, it's quite unusual. And also the price of this fragrance really justifies its use in one that you would use to go to bed because it's a very low price point, isn't it, this one? You can spray as much as you want of this one. And, and really it's, you know, a whole bottle of this is less than 20 pounds. So it's a really bargainous fragrance and perfect for wearing to bed. So that's SJP's Lovely. So this next fragrance is really one of my favourite fragrances ever. And it's not one that I only wear to bed. I wear it in the day as well. And it's something that I just absolutely can't get enough of. I find it addictive. And it's one as well that is quite a soft fragrance. Or it can be if you don't spray very much of it. 
So this one is Glossier U and Glossier U is just a very, um, it's like a cosy morning fragrance. It's a cosy morning in bed, warm in bed with your significant other. It's a very much a clean skin kind of fragrance. It's that nuzzling up to someone, being in the nape of their neck and smelling them and just feeling their warmth and just being enveloped in that cosy feeling of being close to someone. It really does take you there. And this one, I think it takes me there because it's got that ambrette. Ambrette is just addictive. It's something that really does have that skin-like feel to it. And also this fragrance has a little bit of a clay-like feel to me. It's something that makes me think of art classes. It makes me think of life drawing and neutral colours. It's musky and it's calming, but it's also a fragrance that I find addictive. It's something that I want to get close to. It's something that I can't stop smelling once I smell it. I really think this fragrance is as close to a universal fragrance that I've smelled in the perfume world. I can't see anybody thinking this fragrance smells bad. I can't see anybody not liking this fragrance. And it's something that I think suits everybody because it just smells like skin. How can a fragrance that smells like skin not suit you? So different people smell different things in this fragrance and I entirely get that because we all smell differently. Some people say this smells of wood shavings. Some people say this smells very musky. But to me, this one smells like close, warm skin. So that's Glossier U. So this next fragrance, I started wearing to bed just out of my disappointment in its lasting power and actually wearing it to bed, I'm really enjoying it. It's one that I do reach for quite a lot in the winter. So this one is The Scent for Her Private Accord by Hugo Boss. So this one is often described as a chocolate orange fragrance and really when I'm wearing this to bed, it makes me feel like I've had a mug of cocoa, a mug of nice, soft, warm, velvety cocoa laced with a little drop of Cointreau. It really makes me think of those comforting bedtime drinks that you have to try and get yourself to sleep. And really, I'm not someone who's into really super sweet or sticky fragrances, and I don't find this one overwhelming, but it really is a delicious fragrance to, to wear. And I think as well, if you're with someone, I can't see anybody complaining about smelling this one in bed. It's not an overwhelming fragrance. So as I said, this one does have an issue with lasting power, but really that doesn't matter, does it? If you're going to bed, you don't need a fragrance to last a long time. In the daytime, I'll probably struggle to get two or three hours out of this fragrance. I'm doing well if I make lunchtime with this fragrance. So really, bedtime is the time for this one. So that's a scent for her, Private Accord by Hugo Boss. So this next fragrance is one that I picked up back in November because I'd already tried it thanks to Scented Snowdrops, Jon Snow, on, on YouTube. And I, I really had enjoyed it. And I saw it for such a bargainous price that I thought, I'm going to, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to wear it to bed. So... This one is Jupe Le Bain, or Jupe Le Bain, depending upon how you want to pronounce it. So this one, I think I picked it up for something ridiculously cheap, like £9 for 75 mils. I've seen it as low as £5 for 75 mils. So this one is really bargainous, and it's a very old fragrance, and I think that's probably why it's quite so cheap. And also, Jupe is not really a, a very expensive brand, is it? So this one is a very enveloping vanilla tonka fragrance more more tonka really i think so this one makes me think of getting out of a nice warm bubble bath and putting on a toweling bathrobe that's been on a radiator it's sort of the ultimate in comfort this one some nice warm slippers and perhaps you're going to sit near a fire and watch something on tv it's definitely got that cozy vibe about it and it's also got a slight 80s feel to me. I know this one is quite an old fragrance. I think it came out in 1988 and it does have aldehydes in it. So maybe that's what's giving me the slight 80s vibe to it. But overall, this is just a warm, fluffy feeling, slightly spiced Tonka fragrance. It's creamy. It's got a slightly almondy sweetness to it, some light woods, and also it's a slightly musky fragrance. This fragrance is incredibly long lasting and actually it can be overpowering. If you spray too much of this, it can be too strong for, for something to wear to bed for me. But actually, if you just wear one or two sprays, this is something that is absolutely perfect for bed and is so, so comforting. So that's Yupe Le Bain. So the final fragrance is actually one that I really feel very late to the party on. I feel like most people will have already bought this one or tried this one. And I've only really recently, over the last year or so, picked a bottle of this. I've really been enjoying it. 
So this is Guerlain's uh, Mongolin. So this fragrance, I just think of hugs when I smell this fragrance. It smells like an enveloping hug from someone who loves you. It makes me think of sort of, you know, coming home to someone who really cares about you and having that comforting feeling of knowing that someone is there who loves you. So this fragrance is a lavender and white floral fragrance, but also has a very strong vanillary tonka base. And it's also a little bit woody. In many ways, you could compare this one to Lovely, but really they're very different fragrances. Lovely is a little bit cleaner and a little bit cooler smelling. And this one's just a lot warmer and more enveloping than Lovely is. To me, this fragrance has a little touch of Shalimar in the base. And actually Shalimar is a fragrance that I'm really not that keen on, but actually here, it just really adds a little bit of a vintage nod to this fragrance and makes me love it more really because Guerlain are sort of going back to their their history and their their heritage and I love that about Guerlain. So I say this fragrance is actually quite strong for a bedtime fragrance. It's one that I would only spray one or two sprays of because I think it could be overpowering and quite cloying otherwise. But I think this one is very, very elegant and is something that I think that anybody sleeping near you would absolutely love to smell as they drift off to sleep as well. So that's Guerlain's Mongolin. So my final fragrance is really an honourable mention because this one is getting hard to find and I don't want to have people chasing fragrances that I'm talking about when and not be able to find them. But if you can find this one, I would really highly recommend it because it's gorgeous for the daytime and it's also gorgeous for bed. So this one is La Nuit Trésor Musk Diamant by Lancôme. So I love this fragrance so much that I've actually already bought another bottle of this fragrance because I just don't want to be without it. This one is a gorgeous, very clean smelling white musk fragrance, but with a touch of raspberry and rose. And there's also a little feeling of licorice to this fragrance as well. But it's a very gentle, soft licorice. And it's something that just is the background sort of naughtiness to this fragrance. So this one I do wear in the, in the daytime mainly. But I do think this would also make a lovely, lovely, soft, powdery nighttime fragrance as well. This fragrance just makes me think of 50s pinup ladies. You know, beautiful makeup, beautiful hair, wearing satin nightgowns, lined with lace, humongous powder puffs. Just that whole vintage vibe is encompassed in this fragrance but in a modern kind of style and I think that's what I really like about it. So this fragrance is really long lasting but it is quite a gentle fragrance in the main. One or two sprays and would be excellent for bedtime and I think it's just a very elegant but inviting fragrance. For anybody with you I think you would just smell absolutely stunning and they would be very happy to snuggle you. So this one is La Nuit Trésor Musk Diamant. So that's the final fragrance in this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, then please press the like button and please also consider subscribing if you haven't done already. And please let me know which fragrances do you wear to bed? Have you tried any of these? Or are you someone who hasn't worn fragrance to bed and is now going to try a fragrance? Please let me know how it goes. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.